Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, today we're looking at the SE100, a French heavy fighter, tier 5. So, what's this plane all about? Well, let's first of all, let's look at the tech tree, see where it lines up. So, it's on in the French tech tree, premium heavy fighter, alongside the NC1070. So, let's have a look at this in the hangar. How does it look? Well, first we want to do is a uh, comparison. So, we're going to have to look at... Uh, heavy fighters so let's call up some heavy fighters tier 5 and see how this bad boy compares so survivability the bow fighter very tough 420 year points at tier 5 the bf 110e and the se 100 both 350 points this is seven and a half thousand kilos the bf is 6400 and the Bowfighter is 8600, so it's in the middle weight-wise. Survivability, identical to the German, but the Bowfighter is overall the heaviest and with the most uh, survivability and hit points. Then we come to the gun armament. What are we running? So the BF-110 is running uh, 200, the, the least with 287 points. 220 mil cannons, four 7.92s, and a 7.92 medium uh, machine gun MG15 on the back. The SE100 is running four 20 mil cannons on the front, and a rear rear 20 mil cannon on the back. Not bad at all for 407 points. That's a lot of points. The Bowfighter, 532 points with 20 mil the uh, Hispano and four, four 20 mil Hispanos, uh, six 303 Brownings, very, very neat, and a rear gun as well. That's nice. Then we come to the airspeed, so let's see how this compares airspeed-wise, just to give us an idea of how this is going to run. So, overall speed, the Bowfighter is 444 kilometers an hour. This is not far behind at 432 with the Bowfighter, the British, at 414 kilometers an hour. Okay, so we've got an idea. Rate of climb, the British is 45.5 uh, meters per second. Lower, and the lowest, is the uh, the SE100, 43.2. The best is the German, the Bowfighter, with 47.5. Okay, so the German is the, the, uh, the best speed-wise, and rate of climb, so we're looking at the uh, now store speed. The best, well, joint top is the uh, the Bowfighter and the the French SE100 at 160, with the BF110 at 180. So that means the store speed is above the other. So it's not so good in a dogfight. Neither of these are particularly good in a dogfight, but the the BF110 is worse. So then the uh, dive speed. The German is 780 kilometers an hour, the French is 650, and the British is also 650. So the best at diving is the German. Now let's have a look at the maneuverability, see how they uh, they all compare maneuverability-wise. So looking at the uh, the German, average time to turn at 360 degrees is 16 seconds, the same as the French. The best of all is 14.9 with the BF. Uh, the Bowfighter. So it's 1.1 second faster. We then come to the uh, the roll speed. The best is the Bowfighter with uh, 60 degrees a second. Sorry, the worst. I was looking at the wrong number for a second. The, uh, the, the worst is the Bowfighter at 60 degrees a second. Next at 65 degrees a second is the, uh, the Bowfighter 110. The BF 110E German is 65. Whereas the SE100 is a roll, rolls 80 degrees a second, the heavy fighter Brit 60. So the worst is the bow fighter Brit. The BF110 is 65 and 80 is the SE100. So it can roll quite nicely. We then come to the accuracy of the gun. The worst at 67 is the uh, is the bow fighter. Next at 76, relatively good, is the BF110. And the best of all, it's at 78, is the SE100. The, the Bowfighter and the SE100 operate at an altitude of 1500 metres. 
with the BF110 operating just 300 meters further up at 1800 meters. So now we know a bit about what it what it's like. So it's a hev essentially a heavy fighter, and we we want to find out what we can do with this. So first of all, we want to get in and just put a basic load on. So fire extinguisher, first aid kit, and control surface. The usual 11,000. And here we see the quad cannons at the front of the plane all looking really really solid very very nice the rear 20 mil cannon here for my it, does it look like it uh, I'm not gonna say it's gonna look like a don um, a doner kebab or an up, upturned uh, croissant but this is what we've got so I think it's time to get into uh, into a battle that's got me giggling so let's just get in and see what this is like okay so basically it's it's a fast Attention. you are entering the zone controlled by the enemy okay thank you so we're getting into a fast fast situation our maneuverability isn't that great side to side but we've got a bit of height that we can use so we'll see what this is like Tier six game, but only just. Show me what you can do, pilots. They want to go for the Let's center, roll. so I'm going to go and back them up, and we'll see what we can do. So let's boost up twenty. That's that's nice. Thirty seconds of boost. That is looking good, but I don't don't want to go with just there's this few of us on the way, but if. Being like this, it feels like a quite a, a neat, quite a neat setup. The speed of this is actually pretty good. It feels good. Look at the that those coming up. Let's see what the guns are like. Getting used to the lead time. Very punchy guns. Whoa! Epic guns! Really epic guns! Okay, bit of power on to try and come around on the target. Get used to the lead. Bit of damage. Whoa! Very, very impressive. Now let's go in on the uh, the IL. Try and do our, our equivalent of zooming in. Let's try and go around the other way. And we've got the rear gun. Let's see what that's like. So boosting in. Doing a lot of damage. This is almost like a ground attack hunter. Wow. Let's go in after the last guy. He's heading that way, so let's work our way around. Well, let's take out some of these anti-air and some of the ground targets. So what's it like on the ground targets? Not bad at all. I'm liking the way this feels. Really, really good at taking out ground attack targets. And we're coming in from behind. Let's boost up. Let's see what this is like. Okay, so so weaker targets are its preferred food. Very very nice. Okay, not so not so good on those sorts of targets. Oh, let's have a look at it bit of damage on the, the BF the bow fighter let's try and get in on him try and get used to the lead time whoa 
incredibly good. Let's try and zoom out of here, see if my rear gun can assist. How many of them? Ooh, nice sounding gun. Let's try and circle round, see what we can do. P40, let's try and go in on him. In fact, try and circle round, see what it's like with the rear gun. Oh, we got taken out by P-38, but we just took out a neat little Japanese... Wow. An A-6. That was very useful. So we go back... So 3,300. Not bad at all. So anything over 2,000 is pretty nifty. So we've got the central area. Time to push in. We've got one of their fighters down here. Let's go in and assist. Oh, great. XP-44. Let's try and get him in the sights. Let's turn so the rear gun gets a chance. Let's aim up. Try and give the gunner a chance. The, the rear gun doesn't appear to have the greatest... Mind you, it's firing now. The gr I thought it didn't have the greatest turning circle, but... Oh, no, no, we've gone. So, up against an XP-44, we've got a bit of an issue. So, the rear gun isn't the greatest, but we've put a number of holes in him. So, uh, it feels pretty, pretty interesting. Over. Let's change locations, head down there to try and assist. It's a slow-moving, very interesting plane. So, let's get in, try and help against this P-40. Oh, yes. Very nice. When they're in front of you, the, the quad on this is really, really useful. The rear gun is 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 sort of like an afterthought. Great, we've got the centre. Let's go in after Unable this. Let's see if we can kill the A six again. I feel sorry for him if if that happens. Whoa, we si certainly got him in the sights. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. If anyone's in front of this quad, the front guns are fantastic. Let's look for another victim. Okay, let's try and get him on. Let's go in. Another SE 100. Let's try and close in on him. Now he's just taken, he's got someone in his sights and just took them out completely.
fighter coming in. Let's try and get down to where we've got some assistance. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> this is really impressive. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we just helped to take him out as well. Wow. Um, it's almost, almost like I'm doing a victory roll. This is fantastic. Let's go and help with the IL, see if we can get anything going in. He's already gone. Next. Boost up. He's gone. Make a final push. Absolutely fantastic. This is really good fun. A large enemy force is attacking the military base. Proceed with caution. I almost Please took out go. a Spitfire then. Victory is close. <laughs> Predator. I'm proud of you. Predator on my and first... Whoa, on. look at that. What? Um, you can't do all this in a bad plane. Wow. You really can't. So, let's have a look, get back and have a look exactly what this is like. The quad on the front of this is fantastic. The rear gun is a bit of a joke, but can still do... How many medals? Right. Let's have a look at the summary. So, flying start, three aerial targets. Hat trick for lots of everything. Supporting fire, for at least four targets. Oh, so the rear turret destroyed someone, but as it was behind, I didn't even see. So the rear turret is better than I thought. Then we've got strong support. Assist in eight, eight, eight ally kills. Reliable cover, okay. Then we've got self-defense, one aerial target. Only best result, t level two. First class, and then the Kazubada medal, or whatever it is, five aircraft from a, uh, a group. And Predator, 119, almost 120,000 credits, 5,800, almost 5,900 experience, and a token. How do, did we do in comparison to the team? In, in level, not bad at all. So second on the team, even though it was a tier 6 match, the only... Uh, the only one that came better than we did was a tier 6 plane. The other the other SE100 on the the, the opposing team did almost 6000 points. We did 8 almost 9000 points. And a 100 almost 120000 credits. This is not a bad rather than saying this is not a bad plane I have to conclude, because this has got no other equipment on it, I have to conclude that the SE100 is an absolutely top-notch plane. This has got to be an, an unexpected classic straight out of the bat, and it's got to be at least three stars. It's a three-star plane because it's unexpected, the front guns are really, really strong. It feels manoeuvrable enough. It is such a strong plane. So, the SE-100. You saw that I was, I was ripping Spitfires to pieces. R all of the, the Japanese planes, basically anything at tier. Even the, those ground attack planes, it, they, they are as tough as old boots. The guns on this was just ripping them to shreds. The accuracy of the front guns, they're all so close that the firepower from this is just amazing. And even though we couldn't see it, the awards show that the rear gun is just as good, just as capable. So, from Gaming Bear and the SE100, an immediate classic, the SE100. 
thank you so much for watching. I'm just gobsmacked. So, th a triple pause for the SE100. It might even be higher, but at the moment I've own I'm, I'm own only only giving it triple pause. So a three star, and you know how hard they are and how few and far between. This is right up there. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Have fun, guys. Bye.